So, I was going to leave this out, I ended up changing my plan to put this in. I just want to talk about what happens on the back end of the contract. So, core ball carry hand foot angles, and we're going to talk about chest blows and then the ability to wall up once the ball gets to the keeper. So, physicality is a big part of the game. Any hands on, especially in the key weight, usually call it foul. I use my chest and keep my hands out. Our defensive philosophy is to make them score over me. Amount of missed layups that occur. Right, they've been able to short walk out now and come up the wall. Massive part of the game. So, really simple. We're just going to go old school D start on the block. Ball here. We're going to pass him the ball out. We're working on the three things we discovered as soon as it leaves my fingertips. Where the ball. So, core ball, hand over the ball, foot angles. And my foot angles, if that pump is the last hit, toes to three point. Yeah, your nose is your Oh, yeah, ball! Stop the back. I like these two down Go back. So, one ball. Right? So, one ball, right? One ball, one ball. Just one ball. And then you just stay ready. Okay. Good. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So, on the ball. Really simple now. We're going to talk about chest blows. You get lots of reps of it. You're just going to tuck the ball under your arm. Almost like a rugby league player. You're just going to push your shoulder square. Okay, and it's not you're gonna attack him or you know, knock him over, other, other shoulder. Right? And you're just gonna just wedge him up, wedge him up, wedge him up all the way in the new way. Your job is to actually pop him with your chest, right? So he's got his shoulder down there, you're gonna pop him with your chest and your hands are up, and then I'm gonna pop back. Right? Pop him, jump back, pop him, jump back. I just want you to do that all the way in the keyway. You're just working a straight line. No dribble, just pop him with your chest, straight line, get in the keyway. Here we go, pull him! Good, pop him, jump back. Good, keep going, we're waiting to it. Pop him, jump back, pop him, jump back. Good, so I like a lot of what you've got going on here. Come back. Just minus what we say, as soon as the hand goes on, foul. Right, my hands are out and up, and as my slug position will come in to when I'm sliding, and we'll show that in a moment, but we've got lots of reps to be able to pop him, jump back, maintain the gap. Here we go. Good, pop him, pop him. Good, good, good job. Alright, and then all I want you to do here, get a few weight. Pivots. Right, work that just put shot to bash. You are just gonna use your chest on his shoulder, right? Keep your bum to the basket, hands are up, get him off his hips. Hands are up. Yeah. Right? And make him score. You're not gonna shoot it, you're gonna pivot and done. Right, show me that whole cycle. Yeah. Let's go. So we've got close out, pull ball, hand over ball, full angles, chest blow, one. Let's go. Ball here. Good. Working. Working. Good. Working. Good. Working. Good. See a lot of players will do this. Pivot. Now we go. Right? I don't pivot with him, I just keep my chest on his shoulder along the basket. A lot of physicality. Okay? What we're going to do now is you're going to take two girls and then just not jump. So you're going to close the angle, go ahead and back again. We're going to take two hard dribbles. This is in the game. As I'm sliding with him, we've worked on like chop and slide. Okay, this is where we normally meet. I'm just going to pop you. Snap it. Go. Go back in here. 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 Go back in one of the weaknesses of the wall up from a really good job. Is once he does shoot it, right, my final part is to for him. To be able to crack him right across the chest and do a short block out. So now that as I get him, I'm right in his space when he's trying to get there, but the short rebound comes, I can grab him and now I've got The amount of times you see the back of that, I do a really good job, right? Got my chest in his shoulder, and then I'm going to And they're always short rebounds the best. He sticks it right everywhere. Good with that? Pretty good. Okay, give me one more. Flip it over. Nice try. Oh, I didn't know. Really simple. Catch the ball. Yeah. Two hard drills. Drop the shoulder. Two hard drills. Drop the shoulder. Get in the keyway. Hit it and shoot it. Here we go. Ball! Stop. Good. 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 Good.
and they're all in the arm. They obviously bit this week as well. Particularly our started this week with some HP. When they're walling up, do you want them to stay in the stand? Yeah, good luck. Yeah, so you chest like 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 here this week. Yeah. 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 Walling up, not, not from here, walling up and standing up, and there's just one move done. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get narrow. Never want to get narrow, you put yourself. You're always in a position of strength. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there, my chest is going to be shorter, and I'm just making up the score. Okay, and if that now means I'm short, I'm going to just crack him and hit him out. It's really hard to bring that to the stand. Alright. Alright. Uh, gas. So, just going to cover off some one on one drills from closeout. So, we really like looking at a game scenario in front of the closeout. We always practice closeouts and like that, where we just do the old check it out, one on one, close him out. We like putting the players in scenarios where it's like cover down, rotate, closeout. So a game-like scenario that I've got to rotate and close out. Um, 